Hi, this is Simon Obstall, and welcome to another tutorial for Blackmagic Fusion. Now, in this one, we're going to be revisiting something I've shown you before in a different form, and that's how to build a simple Kia. And there are two reasons I wanted to revisit it. The first of which was that the last time around, I used channel booleans, and it's really quite a messy, cumbersome process if you go that way. So I wanted to show you a much cleaner and simpler way of doing it. And in the process, I also wanted to address a point that somebody once made about one of my tutorials, which was that it seems to require an awful lot of tools to do something quite simple. Well, I'm going to show you that the opposite is the case. You can, in fact, do something very complicated with very, very few tools indeed. Now, in most cases, you're probably going to decide you don't want a key this way, and you'll just be grabbing the delta key and working with that. But there are cases where knowing this technique can really help you out, because once you understand the basic principles, there are countless ways you can refine it to suit the shot you're working on. And anyway, I think this is just really interesting stuff to know about whether you decide to use it or not. So let's get started. I'm using this green screen shot from the open source movie Tears of Steel. Link to that in the comments. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a custom tool. So I'm going to come to Tools, Miscellaneous, Custom Tool. And let's pipe the Tears of Steel footage into that. Now don't be put off by the custom tool. It requires you to type expressions, but the ones we need are very simple. And the huge benefit is that we can target the individual channels much more easily than by any other means, which is precisely what we need to build our Kia efficiently. I've got a tutorial that explains the custom tool in a lot more detail, and I'll link to that in the comments. Now, what I'm going to do is come to this tab here, the fourth one along. So what we're going to do is set up our basic color difference Kia. So into this red expression, I'm going to type G1, minus max, open brackets, R1, comma, B1, close brackets. And I'm going to paste that into the other two expression fields. And so let's have a look at what that has done. So I think you can see that what we've now got is a mat for our footage, albeit it's the wrong way around. And all we need to do is invert that. So in order to invert it, I'm going to put brackets around my expression, and at the very front, I'm going to do one minus, and I'm going to paste that into each of the expression fields. And now we've got the mat the right way around. And all we need to do is apply a brightness contrast, so tools, color, brightness contrast, and then we can crush the black value, which is our backing here, using the low slider here, until we've got a perfect mat. Now, the important thing to do here is to remember to turn on clip black and clip white. Otherwise, potentially, you can get some very curious results. So these need to be clipping the result to the zero to one region. So I want to come back to this and our expression here and just explain what we're doing. Obviously, with the one minus, we were simply creating an inversion of the mat. So one minus anything just inverts it. So what we are saying here is that take the green channel, so that's G1, and subtract from it the maximum of the red and the blue channels. And that is very simply how a color difference key works. And it creates, as we saw, that inverted mat. So we then inverted it, and then we came here and we used a brightness contrast to scale the values. If our foreground had looked a bit thin with holes in it, what we could have done is, again, adjust the white value. You can see that his glasses are sort of starting to become more solid there, but in this case, we don't need to do that. So the next step is to use this as a mat for our footage. So I'm going to add another custom tool, so miscellaneous custom tool. In actual fact, what we want to do is use our original footage as the main input and then our mat there as the secondary input. And let's have a look at that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to multiply our footage by the mat. So to do that, I'm going to use the convenient C1 shortcut, where C1 allows us to access the current value of each, each field here. So if I do C1 times C2, 
and I copy that into each of the color fields, you can see we've now pre-multiplied our red, green, and blue by the mat. So using C1 times C2 saves me having to do R1 times R2, G1 times G2, and B1 times B2. It just uh, it makes it a little bit quicker. So what do we need to do here with our alpha, which is obviously black at the, or solid at the moment? All we need to do is take one of the channels of our mat, so I'm going to use red, so I'm going to type R2, and you'll see that we've now got a nice alpha channel. And we've pre-multiplied our RGB, which is what we want to do. So now we literally have created our Kia, and I can merge that over the top of my background, like so. So obviously the problem we're left with now is that the color is not right, and we need to work out how to despill our foreground image. So to do that, we're going to use yet another custom tool. So tools, miscellaneous custom tool. And what I want to do is I want to put that in here. So that's my foreground here that's going into my Kia there. And I want to put this custom tool in here because that's where we're going to be doing our spill suppression. So with the shift key, I can just drop that into there. So let's come over to the expression tab there. Again, the fourth one along. And what we need to do is we need to affect the green channel because the problem is there's too much green in the edges of our image. So our expression is going to be if open brackets G1 is greater than R1 comma R1 comma G1 close brackets. And that's definitely improved things as you can see. So if I bypass that, that's our unspilled version that's our despilled version. So what we're saying here is if the green channel is higher than the red channel, replace it with the red channel value. And if not, just go with the existing green channel. And we could do the same where we choose the average of the red and blue to compare to the green. So to do that, I'm going to come to the intermediate tab here. So that's the third one along. And I'm going to set up an intermediate expression. And this is just going to be the average of the red and blue. So open brackets R1 plus B1 close brackets divided by two. That's the average of the two. So then we can come back to our expression here. We can use I1, which is our average value. And that again gives us a, a different result. So I'm going to keep this simple because a lot of the times one of these is going to work very well for you. And really, I just wanted to show you the principle of this thing rather than every single possible combination. But as you can see, with a very few tools here, we've built a Kia. Now, before we finish, I'd like to show you a couple of other interesting things that relate to our initial Kia routine. You'll remember we used an expression that subtracted the maximum of the red and blue from the green channel to get our raw mat. And that's one of the commonest ways of doing it. But depending upon your shot, there are other possible options. The nature of this shot is for the most part, the red channel is higher than the blue channel. And that means we could go really simple and only subtract the red channel from the green. So that's G1 minus R1. And you'll see that works almost identically in this case. And sometimes we can work with the minimum of the red and blue or we could set up a control that lets us mix between the minimum and the maximum, which is an option that you'll find in some professional keyers. And that's what I've set up in this version here. And you can see how changing the mix balance affects the key. So it's well worth experimenting to find a formula that works for the particular problems of the shot you're working on. As I hope you've understood by now, a color difference keyer is simply using the difference between the green channel and any combination of the other two channels to create a raw mat. You'll remember also that we were using a simple brightness contrast to scale our raw mat, but sometimes it pays to do this with a curves tool, which allows you to be much more precise about the fine edge detail. I'd urge you to use the spline editor here because that gives you a lot more control over what you're doing. Another trick you can try is color correcting the input to the Kia routine. So here I'm using a hue curves just before my custom tool. 
that's creating the raw mat. And just some very small adjustments to almost any of these values might help you get a better key or help with critical edge detail. And that's precisely the beauty of this method. There's always something new to try that might just be the solution you're looking for. So I'd very quickly like to point out the changes you'd need to make if you're using a blue screen. So I'm going to use swap out this image here. So in our basic matte extractor here, instead of G1 there, we want B1. And then instead of comparing red and blue, we're going to compare the max of red and green. And we're going to paste that to the other channels. So there you go, we've got our basic matte. We can come to our brightness contrast here. In this case, we've over processed that black. We don't need to go that far, something like that. And then there's our merge. In the case of the custom tool we're using for the spill suppression, we'll need to come to our intermediate here. And instead of taking the average of red and blue, we'll need to take the average of red and green. So R1 plus G1. And then our expression here needs to belong in the blue channel there. Green needs to be G1. And this one here needs to be if B1 is greater than I1, so on, and then B1, like that. And then we've got our nice despilled version. Then we've got our comp. So I hope that's been useful. Um, please check out my other keying tutorials and uh, thanks very much for watching.